On the Death of Dr. Swift by Jonathan Swift. Perhaps I may allow the Dean had too much satire in his vein and seemed determined not to starve it because no age could more deserve it. Yet malice never was his aim. He lashed the vice but spared the name. No individual could resent with thousands equally were meant. His satire points at no defect, but what all mortals may correct. For he abhorred that senseless tribe who call it humour when they jibe. He spared a hump or crooked nose whose owners set not up for bows. True genuine dullness moved his pity, unless it offered to be witty. Those who their ignorance confessed he ne'er offended with a jest, but laughed to hear an idiot quote a verse from Horace learned by rote. He knew a hundred pleasing stories with all the turns of Whigs and Tories, was cheerful to his dying day, and friends would let him have his way. He gave the little wealth he had to build a house for fools and mad, and showed by one satiric touch no nation wanted it so much. That kingdom he had left his debtor, I wish it soon may have a better.